uh, everyone. Uh, I hope you are all glad tonight kasi na-receive nyo na ang inyong Fusion 360 and Tinkercad um, certificate of course completion. No? And uh, just to tell you, no, you don't need po to, to send me a PM para i-accept ang inyong course ID. No? So once uh, we receive your course ID, uh, course enroll na na enroll kayo sa course um i uh, ano na namin kaagad yon i i uh, approve okay so uh please share our uh, live video no so etong session natin uh, tonight is makaka-receive ulit kayo ng another uh Autodesk uh, certificate. Okay, so please uh, share our live video. Okay, hello, good evening. Sige, oh, while you're sharing the video, I will approve ano, enrolled participants. Okay. <clears throat> Ayan, iyan na yung mga approved na and then yung mga pending. So yung mga pending, approved na natin lahat. Okay. Hello, good evening. So please keep sharing our uh, live tonight, no? Kung hindi man maayos yung yung stream here sa Facebook, uh, please visit our Autodesk Community Philippines a uh, YouTube channel, no? Good evening, ma'am. Wala pa din po yung Fusion 360 30 po waiting of approval pa din po sa Autodesk. So, ayan, ma'am, kaka-approve ko lang. Nung mga nakita kong nag-enroll, ayan. So, as of now is uh, wala, wala pang nag-enroll ulit. Ayan. So, approve na. So, uh, nasa account niyo po yun, no? Uulitin ko po ang inyong mga certificates is nasa evaluation account niyo. Paano po ma-open ng Autodesk ulit po? Under maintenance? Check natin, ma'am. So, edu eduevaluation.autodesk.com Okay? Hindi po siya under maintenance. Ayan po yun. Inopen ko. Hello! Good evening, everyone! Hindi po siya under maintenance. Ayan, got mine now from a JR Pilyarina. Hello! Ayan. Okay po yung evaluation site. Kaka-open ko lang po. Ayan. So, eduevaluation.orodes.com Okay? And uh, make sure... Hindi ka live sa... Sa Facebook page natin. Ulitin mo. Nasa group ako. Nag-live? Oo. Sa page? Para nakita lahat. Okay daw. Um, we'll be live in a uh, YouTube. So yung mga nasa Facebook, um, mag -e end live muna na ako. Uh, transfer kayo sa YouTube kasi uh, mag-live tayo sa ating uh, FB page. Okay? So uh, lipat na lang kayo muna sa, sa uh, ating uh, YouTube. Okay? mag -e end live ako ngayon sa Facebook. Okay, bye-bye. See you sa ating uh, Autodesk Community Philippines YouTube channel.
In vector SVG files. And without them, I don't think I would have ever been able to create this ground drone. I'm Adrian. I make data sculpture out of plywood and various materials. And I started a project with a clay model that I then scanned with 1, 2, 3D catch so that I could digitize perfect in mesh mixer with some of the forms and then put into 1, 2, 3D make to scale it up and slice it up into parts so they could fabricate it in full scale as a plywood piece. 1, 2, 3D design is simple and intuitive enough for making complex designs. The construction and modify tools allows us to make optimized designs specifically for 3D printing. It's one of the main tools we use in making 3D printed projects and we use it in every design. This is solid modeling for education and rapid prototype. Catch lets me um, put 3D models through Tinkercad into Minecraft. And so you take a bunch of photographs and like uh, 360 around a person or anything you want. It makes it into a 3D model and then runs it through Tinkercad into Minecraft on any world you want. Yeah, and I just added stuff to my face like lasers. Look at that. <laughs> what we're looking at here is a big 3D model catch of me that's been put into Tinkercad. Well, th through Tinkercad into Minecraft. And over here is the smaller version. Made myself shooting lasers out of my eyes. And... <laughs> Hello, my name is Anouk Lutecht and I'm a fashion tech designer. Uh, recently I started a new product which is called the Open Source Dress, in which we invite people all over the world to print particles that are created, like one particle is created and being uh, yeah, reproduced in Tinkercad. So we invite people to get to Tinkercad and to be part of the, of the particle dress. Something magical happens when you go from having an idea to actually making something from that idea. All of our customers make stuff. At the heart of what they do and really the product they sell is they make something. 
What Peer9 allows us to do is it gives us a place to explore how you get ideas from software into the real world. Autodesk made an investment in the human ability to think and design and solve problems and has taken a really wonderful step to physically make a space where that can happen. We are focused on unlocking the creativity in everyone. And part of the whole vision of this space is making sure that realization of creativity and the digital to the physical happens very closely to the software that we're making. We've got it all under one roof. We have the machines, we have the people, we have this spirit of engagement, and we're all pushing each other to do more and more interesting work. When you bring together all of these experts working in so many different fields, like architecture, design, 3D printing, there's this really special thing that happens in which you've got cross-pollination, which results in not only work that is inherently interdisciplinary, but work that is so new. One of the most fascinating aspects of manufacturing today is that you don't have to be a large corporation in order to design and make physical products. One of the things that we're doing here is to help creative people design and build their own machines or even make their own materials to solve real problems. Autodesk has decades of experience building software, but Ember is our first hardware project. It's a precision 3D printer, and we designed and prototyped it here at Pier 9. We were able to go from idea to design to physical parts in just days and iterate and test their ideas. At Pier 9, we want to help people create things more easily. The software Autodesk is developing and the community that Instructables supports is really about creating a world where people can make whatever they want. And that's a really empowering thing. It's really inspiring working in a place where there's an environment for taking risks and affecting change in the world around us. The space is constantly evolving, and I think we're okay with that. We're proud of that. That's the only way that you can develop something new. But he started 16 years ago from a very, very small company. It was like four people. And, and we grew into 250 people now. Today's world is all about evolving, all about change, all about changing the direction. We do a lot of different stuff. And of course, we do commercials, we do video games, cinematics. We also do some less commercial projects for museums or schools. We are slowly starting with full feature films. And there are also shorts like the Cathedral, Lots of hate, cinematographer. The first one, the cathedral, it was just, you know, I wanted to make a film. It was quite important short for me, and it was also quite important short for Platish because we started to understand that shorts can be used as a marketing tool for the studio. We have a strong tradition of short animated films, and I just put another brick to this, let's call it collection which was that's great. It was a story about two pilots, two planes, and, uh, and clouds. 80% <laughs> of the animation in, in Paths of Hate was done using procedural noises. All the pilots' motions were done with noises. The planes, you know, banking, noises. The camera, the shaking, noises. All, everything was noises. <laughs> the, the old style of doing business is ending. Talent is always, always the most important. The clients come for talent. They are not coming just for service. To have the best people, you, you, you need to have a quite, at least a decent relationship with, with these artistic minds. And showcasing them is one of the ways to do it. At some moment, we started to realize that shorts are no longer a, a best tool to show our creativity, our abilities. But, but there is a lot of people here who are actually, actually quite passionate about their work. And sometimes it's good to use this passion 
for something which is more important than just money. Two years ago, you and approached you and uh, United Nations approached us, and they asked us to do one of five different shorts, each of them directed by diff a different director. And uh, I was given the first one, which was the Tyrant. It was like obvious for us that we should propose something really abstract, some somehow surrealistic. The, the whole spot is based on one effect. A simulation of rigid bodies, you know, things that uh, are breaking apart and you know, being destroyed. And I, I remember that it took me like two hours to create almost the entire scene. I just created two boxes and I lifted them like 10 meters above the, the, the construction grid and I just dropped them <laughs> and they broke apart. And then I just slowed down everything 100 times and was the canyons collapsing in social campaigns when, when you have full freedom over, over absolutely everything, you can really forget about all the rules, all the pipelines and focus on your favorite. Hello everyone. So uh, make sure na, uh, na launch nyo na yung Fusion 360 uh, software nyo and um, pa check po sa ating group yung uh, file na na binigay ko or po, uh, file posted. Mm. Yan, good evening everyone. Ito po. So, check nyo po itong file na to. So, ito ang ating magiging, uh, uh, ang ating gagamitin sa session natin uh, tonight. Okay, so, open your Fusion 360 now. Yung mga nag-message na waiting for approval ang kanilang certificates, no? So, uh, nire-refresh ko naman siya, no? Para kung may pending, ina-accept natin yan. Okay? Okay. Ayan, and of course, you don't need me po to, ano na mag-send pa ng PM sa akin. Dahil uh, once na receive namin yan, uh, i-approve po namin yan kaagad. Ayan, hindi nyo po kailangan mag-send ng PM sa amin na para po magpa-approve. So, i-approve po namin yan. Okay, no? So, uh, yung mga may problem sa, sa certificate, sa evaluation site, so, sasagutin ko po kayo after our live, no? Okay. So, uh, so ngayon po, uh, focus muna tayo sa ating um, webinar, live stream, which is a Fusion 360 Assembly from Scratch. Okay, so make sure na naka-open na ang inyong Fusion 360. Okay. Ayan, basta po kuyo yung mga uh, waiting for approval, i-approve po namin yan once na receive namin. Okay, so start na tayo, no? So, gawin nyo pong tayan yung ating in-upload na, na video sa ating uh, group, no? So, doon nyo po titignan. Okay, so, etong uh, webinar natin tonight is series po ulit to, no? Hindi po ito, uh, hindi po ito isang beses lang, Okay. Ngayon po, kung isang beses na po kayo a-attend, uh, pwede po kaming mag-release sa inyo ng Certificate of Participation. Pero yung Certificate of Participation nyo po, is hindi po yung ine-enroll sa 
sa evaluation site. So, uh, kung gusto nyong maka, magkaroon ng Autodesk certificate like nung na-receive nyo sa Tinkercad and Fusion 360, so, kailangan yung atinan lahat to. So, uh, four hours yung magiging uh, session natin. Okay, so... Uh, Yung mga next uh, session, i ipapublish namin. Okay? So, sana naalala nyo pa ang Fusion Interface natin. Di ko po mapanood sa FB, pero sa YouTube, okay ang stream. Ayan, sa mga nahihirapan or hindi maayos ang stream sa ating uh, Facebook page, inviting you to join us in or hindi uh, maayos YouTube. Ang... Ayan, maganda daw ang stream sa YouTube compare kay Facebook. Ayan, sige, paki-launch na ang inyong uh, Fusion 360. So, sa mga hindi pa nakaka-download, uh, meron tayong link dyan. Meron tayong link. Okay, uh, yun yung uh, software para ma-download ma nyo. Okay. Saan po ipapasa yung uh, ano yung ACT account? Saan po ipapasa yung account ba yan? Okay, so uh, mamaya na ako magsasagot ng inyong mga tanong, no? So, uh, siguro magkakaroon na lang ulit tayo ng uh, separate session kung papaano uh, ba ulit yung pag, uh, pag evaluate no So, ngayon, uh, focus muna tayo sa session natin, which is the Fusion at 360 Assembly from Scratch. Okay. Hindi po tayo 4 hours ngayon. So, ano lang po tayo? Um, 1 hour? 1 hour or 90 minutes tonight. Tapos... Uh, magpa-publish tayo ng bagong date, okay? So, 1 hour, 1 hour lang po. Okay, so, uh, ayan, ang ating uh, Fusion 360 interface. Ayan, so, naaalala nyo pa naman po siguro ang ating uh, interface. Okay, so, uh, asa na yung drawing natin? So, kung mapapansin nyo po ang ating uh, exercise file, ayan. So, ang pangalan niya is ano, no? Rotator. Rotator assembly. So, uh, dapat ang ating uh, finished product is magro-rotate yan. Okay, so papansin niyo uh, ilang pyesa ba yan? Ilang piraso yung ilang piras activity po. Saan po ipapas yung activity? So, uh, mag-aanap po kami later. Okay? So, yung mga gawa nyo po, no, na nag-follow along kayo sa akin, so, yun din po yung ipapasa nyo sa inyong output. Okay? So, meron tayong apat na, na component, no? So, isa to, uh, one, two, three, four. Okay? So, eto yung, yung sketch, eto yung uh, extrusion or yung kapal niya. Eto yung sketch, eto yung uh, extrude, no? Tapos, eto... Yung pangatlong pyesa natin, tatlong beses mo siyang i-extrude. Isa yung, yung kapal niya sa gitna, then yung uh, paloob niya at saka palabas. Okay? Okay, so ngayon, pagagawa tayo ng, ng assembly, so kailangan... 
Punta tayo sa unsave, no? Punta tayo sa unsave. Right-click new component. Okay? So, kailangan nakakomponent kayo. So, kung may new component na tayo, pwede nyo yung i-double-click para i-rename. So, let's say eto, meron kasi tayong apat na pyesa. Uh, para kung may hahanapin kayo, nakapangalan siya. Mas madali siyang ma-identify. Okay? So, yung pyesa natin na ano, ay tawagin natin plate. Ayan. So, ang una po natin gagawin is eto, no? Eto, yung, yung plate. Ayan. Okay? So, yung mga nakapag-advance na, pwede nyo na pong gawin. Okay? So, uh, para lumabas ang ating mga uh, workspace or yung mga plane, kailangan uh, naka-under sketch tayo. Okay? So, simulan natin sa rectangle. So, press R. Okay? So, lalabas na ang ating mga papel. Okay? So, select ko to. Rectangle. Hmm? Bakit hindi nag-automatic si Fusion? Bakit ganda yung Fusion mo? Uy. Na. Hindi siya nag-automatic. Kita mo. Auto project? Oo. Oh, oh. Anong ginawa mo? Hindi mag-view cube ka lang. Okay. So, dapat sa inyo, ito kasing uh, fusion na to is naka-customize, uh, no? So, supposed to be, pag kinlik nyo to, mag-automatic mag, uh, siyang pupunta sa front. Okay. So, ganun siya dapat. So, sa-select ko si rectangle. So, R, no? R, shortcut key for rectangle. And then, makikita nyo sa right side, meron tayong a sketch palette. Ayan. So, meron tayong two-point rectangle, three-point rectangle, tsaka center rectangle. So, ang gagamitin natin is center. Ayan. Okay. So, may rectangle na tayo. So, pwede na natin i-input yung value. So, ang height niya is 40. Okay, tab 120. Okay? So, may ganyan na kaagad tayo. Tapos, gagawa tayo ng a circle. Shortcut key for circle is C. Ayan, gawa tayo ng circle dyan. Dimension natin ng uh, ilan? 10. Okay?
Ay, walang audio. Okay. So, nag-midpoint tayo, no? Mm-mm. Nawala daw. Okay. So, uh, ando natin. Ayan. So, dadaling natin to dito, okay? So, gagamit tayo ng midpoint. Select yung line, tsaka yung origin. Para pumunta siya doon. Okay. Ayan. So, pumunta na siya, no? So, uh, i-check natin. Ito, letter D, ah. Nakapress ako kay D. Ito, tsaka ito. 20 na siya automatically. So, hindi na natin kailangang ilagay itong 20, tsaka itong 20 na to. Okay? So, mas mabilis yung inyong paggawa. Okay, dahil tapos na tayo dyan, finish sketch, home view, press E. Letter E, shortcut key for extrude. So, gawin natin, ilan ba? 15. Direction natin symmetric, then key in 15, uh, divide 2. Ayan. Tapos, uh, may magpa-pop up, no? So, ang um, operation natin is new component. Okay? Mag-new component kayo kung hindi kayo nakakomponent dito sa unsave, no? Since ako kasi, hindi, hindi ko siya nakomponent, no? Dahil nag-new workspace ako. So, click natin yan, new component. Then, okay. So, eto na siya, new component. Then, uh, i-double click ko siya, papangalanan ko siyang plate. Okay? Okay po ba? Nakakasunod po ba if may tanong po along uh, the webinar, drop it lang po sa ating comment section. Okay, so, hindi po ba napakabilis lang? Sige po, itry nyo po ang ating, ano, ang ating paggawa ng plate. Ayan, love it po. Mas magugustuhan nyo pa po yan pag natapos na natin. Okay, so, uh, proceed na tayo. Asa na ang aking reference? Ayan. Okay. So, plate. So, balik ako kay unsave. So, every time nagagawa kayo ng component, pupunta kayo kay unsave. So, eto, nakakomponent, nakakomponent, nakakomponent. Okay? So, bakit po ba mahalaga na nakakomponent? So, unlike po, no, sa... Sa parametric, nung nagparametric tayo last time, kung mapapansin nyo, pag naka-3D, hindi na mag-move yung, yung gawa nyo. Okay? Sa component po, kahit naka-3D siya, magagalaw nyo, mamumove nyo siya. Okay? So, yun po ang gamit ni, ni component. Kailangan nakakomponent siya. Okay, so ngayon, uh, gawin naman natin ito. I-open ko pa lang po yung fusion ko. Ayan. So, next natin, itong uh, cross link. Ayan. So, uh, parang slot lang, slot lang siya na may circle. So, 80 ang distance. Reduce 10. And then, diameter 10, yung holes. Okay? Gawin na po natin. So, punta kay unsave, right-click, new component. Okay? So, mag, pag nag-new component, ayan, mag invisible So, papatay natin yung ilaw niya dito. Or yung eye. Ite-turn off nyo po yung eye. Ayan. So, gan uh, ngayon, pwede nyo ulit siyang i-rename. Double-click. Pangalanan natin ng cross link. Okay? So, gawa tayo ng line. Press L, shortcut key for line. So, pag may ganyan, kung po nasabi move, continue nyo lang. Then, select nyo to. 
or yung front? Gawa ako dyan ng linya. Gawa ako ng dalawang circle. Okay. Okay, so... Ayan. So, eto no. So, 80 daw. So, ida-dimension na kaagad natin. So, ngayon, kung gusto nyong mag, uh, umalis no, sa command, escape lang. Escape, then letter D. So, select nyo to. Input natin is 80. Okay? And then, ang next natin is um, 10 daw, no? 10 radius. So, ita-10 natin to. So, pansin nyo, ah, naka-diameter siya. So, gawin natin 20. Okay, then equal lang ulit. Ito, tsaka ito. Okay? And then, gawa tayo ng line. I-connect natin sila. Ayan, kakonekta na siya. And then, itatangent natin, di ba? So, always nakatangent ang, ang relationship ni line, tsaka ni circle, circle, tsaka line. Ito nakatangent na, line, circle, circle, tsaka line. Okay? So, ngayon, ang ating kulang na lang is yung 10 sa loob. Tama? So, ah... Uh, Gawa tayo dyan ng 10. So, dalawang 10. So, equal lang ulit. The parent, ito yung child. Ayan. So, para pumunta yan sa loob, gagamit tayo ng concentric. So, click nyo lang yung center point ni uh, diameter 10. Tsaka yung... Um, <coughs> diameter 10 and yung radius 10. Ayan. So, para pumunta siya. Diameter 10, pupunta siya kay radius. Okay? So, ngayon, um, ititrim na natin, no? Tatanggalin natin yung mga awala sa, sa, sa drawing. So, letter T, shortcut key for trim. So, trim natin yan. So, may warning siya, no? Constraints and or dimensions were removed during operation. So, trim lang, trim, tsaka ganyan. Okay? So, eto, reference, uh, press X for construction line or pwede rin siyang dito sa sketch palette. Ayan, ita-turn, ikiklik nyo lang. Ita-turn on nyo, ayan. Okay, so ngayon meron na tayong um, cross link, di ba? So finish sketch, letter E, shortcut key for extrude, home view, ilan ba yung kapal niya? 10. So input natin, direction natin symmetric, uh, distance 10. So 10 divide 2, no? Kasi magte-ten siya both sides. So, ganun siya. So, operation. Uh, yan, new body. Okay. Okay, so ngayon, meron na tayong cross link. Ayan. So, pag nilight ko to, o tinurn on ko yung eye, makikita ko to. And then, activate. So, pansin nyo, meron na kaagad tayong dalawang uh, component. Okay. So, sige po, itry nyo po. Uh, Ma'am, pakipost po yung picture guide. Mahina po kasi net ko, kaya di clear. Yung picture guide po natin is nasa Autodesk Community Philippines. Ma'am, yung output po ba isasanda lang sa page? Uh, via ano tayo, A360 hack or yung cloud storage ni, ni Fusion. Okay, so... Um, I-discuss ko yon after ng, ng buong session, no? 
So, kasi ito is nasa device, nasa account nyo naman. Okay? Yung mga nagtatanong kung nasan yung mga accounts sa Fusion, nandito siya sa data panel. Ayan, lalabas yung mga accounts, yung mga projects nyo. Okay? So, ma-access nyo ang inyong Fusion account 24-7. Pwede po makahingi ng copy ng presentation? Uh, yung exercise files nasa group, posted na siya. And then, uh, recorded po ang ating webinar. So, pwede nyo siyang balikan. Okay? Kung may hindi po naintindihan, pwede, pwede nyo po siyang balikan. Okay. Next natin is... Uh, Ito. Ito na po, no? Ang ating a link, a left, and link right. So, gawin na natin. Start ulit tayo sa, sa slot. Okay? So, balik ako kay unsave, right click, new component, i-turn off ko yung i ng glitch, ha-cross link natin, i-rename -re natin, uh, let's say link L. Okay. So, uh, sketch. Pwede tayong... Okay, S. Click ko si S para kay slot. So, pag ES, no, ang lalabas is yung design uh, shortcuts. So... Click ko si S, slot, overall slot. So, sabi niya, components have been moved. Continue nyo lang. And then, isa-select nyo yung papel nyo, no? So, pwede nyo i-select dyan or dito. Ayan, front. So, gagawa ako ng slot ngayon. Ayan. ba May slot na kaagad tayo. So, para gumit na, lagyan lang natin siya ng line. Then, itong line, since a uh, reference, construction siya, gawin natin siyang construction. Then, um, ayan, construction, midpoint natin siya dito. Okay? So, ayan, may, may shortcut tayong slot. No? So, unlike sa ginamit natin sa cross-link na circle tsaka line, so ngayon gumamit tayo ng diretsong slot na. So, ngayon ang gagawin na lang natin ay i-input i, i yung value niya. So, 20, ano ba to 30? 30. 30 yung distance, a radius at 10, and then a uh, diameter 10 yung dalawang circle. Okay, gawin na po natin. Uh, letter D. Itong, ayan, tsaka ayan. Key in 10. Uh, sorry, 30. 13 distansya niya, no? Okay, balik natin sa gitna yung linya. Midpoint to dito. Ayan. So, dimension natin to ng 10. Okay? So, ganyan siya. Ang kulang na lang natin is itong 10 na diameter. So, C, pwede nyo po siyang i-diretso na kaagad sa center point, no? Ayan, pwede po yan. Pwede din nagagamit kayo ng concentric. So, gawa ako ulit ng isang circle para mag-equal. Uh, Gamit lang ng equal constraints. Select to or eto. Okay. So, uh, pag equal po at may value na kahit alin yung, yung isa select nyo. Okay. So, ngayon po, let's say parehas walang value. Kung ano yung una yung iseselect, yun yung gagayahin nung ikalawa. Okay? Ayan. So, meron tapos na kaagad tayo sa ating a linked L. Okay? Okay. 
Okay. Yung mga nasa Facebook po na medyo uh, hirap ang stream sa uh, sa Facebook, uh, nasa YouTube po tayo. You can transfer po sa YouTube. Okay? So, finish sketch na natin. So, i-extrude na natin, no? Okay. May question ba? Wala naman. Pwede pang iban mo yung nag-comment? Nag Sino? Nagbebenta ata siya. Saan dyan? Ito. Saan ba dyan? Sa, ah, in dyan eh. In dyan. Okay. Going back. Asa na ang ating sketch? I ano mo. Okay. So... Ito na siya, no? Tapos na tayo dito. Ang kulang na lang natin is e-extrude. So, 5, 10, and 15. Okay? So, extrude na natin. Press E, shortcut key for extrude. Click ako sa home view para makita ko. Then, kiklik ko muna to no? Gagawin muna natin tong 5. 5. So, i-divide natin ng 2. Tapos, ang, dista ang direction niya is metric. Okay? So, okay. Okay. So, ngayon, tatanungin nyo ako, ma'am, paano, paano ma e extrude etong 15 tsaka tong 10? So, ang gagawin natin dyan, uh, i-arrow down nyo hanggang kailan po ang pasahan. So, ah, uh, uh, series naman po to, no? So, kung hindi kayo nakasunod, nakafollow along at tonight, uh, pwedeng-pwede nyo balikan siya sa Oradas Community Philippines, a YouTube channel, no? Nandun po siya, then gawin nyo yung, yung, etong exercise na to. And then, uh, may series po ito, no? Uh, may, may susunod na session pa about assembly. Okay, so pag natapos na yung series, doon natin i-sasabihan kung kailan yung pasahan ng output. Siyempre po, ang ipapasa nyo rin is etong ginawa, ginagawa ko. So, susundan nyo po yun, tapos yun, yun din po yung ipapasa nyo. Okay? Okay, so ngayon, uh, para makuha natin or ma-extrude ang ating bilog. So, eto, ayan yung extrude natin, no? 15 tsaka 10. So, uh, punta kayo dito sa link, arrow down. Ayan, nag-arrow down, nakita natin yung origin, yung bodies, yung sketches. Arrow down sa sketches. Then, i-turn on nyo yung eye nung sketch 1. So, turn on the eye. So, pansin nyo, may lumabas na na sketch. Okay? So, letter I ulit. Select natin to. Ilan to? 15. And then, eto is a negative N. Plus 5 natin. Ayan. Okay? So, after nyong ma-extrude to, i-turn off ulit yung eye. Okay? Turn off nyo lang po. Tapos, ipunin nyo na ulit. Okay? So, <laughs> tapos na tayo dito sa ating ikatlong uh, ikatlong sketch. So, Tinurn on ko na yung eye ng bawat isa. Balik ako kay unsave. Click activate. Ayan. So, ayan na po ang ating tatlong uh, component. So, can you comment down po kung ano ng status ng inyo? Sorry, this video is not available daw. Check natin. Kiklik ko siya. Okay naman siya, ma'am. 
Okay naman po yung nakapinak na link. Okay? Okay, so kung dahil parehas lang naman to, no? So pwede natin i-copy to. Ito, ayang, ayang component na yan. So para makapi natin yan, balik tayo kay unsave, right click, new component. Um, turn off ko ulit yung I nung dalawa, yung plate 1 tsaka cross link. Uh, double click, rename, R. Okay, wait lang. Right click, new component, um, turn off natin na lang lahat. Turn off natin lahat ng I, and then link L, or link R. Okay, so punta tayo sa link L, ayan, right click, copy, or you can use control C, and then punta kay link R ulit, try to paste. So, some components have been moved. So, mm -hmm. ihihiwalay nyo lang siya. Ayan. And then, okay. Okay, asan na siya? Turn on the eye. Activate. Okay. Bakit nawala? Ayan. So, kung nawala, i-turn on nyo na lang dito sa link R, arrow down, and then ilalay nyo na yung link na to. Okay? So, ayan na. Tapos na ang ating uh, sketches, no? So, ang gagawin naman natin ngayon is kung papaano sila magiging ganto or paano mo siya marorotate. Okay? So, laging ang ating base uh, object Okay. So, ayusin natin to. Yung may siwang. So, uh, shift tsaka middle mouse, no? Para ma-orbit. So, yung siwang, ayusin natin. Hanapin nyo lang to. So, nung sinelect ko to, no? Pansin nyo nag-light up sa ating timeline. Ayan. So, right-click edit feature natin. So, gawin natin uh, two sides and then, ayan. Distance to object. Click mo yan. Ay, sorry. Turn off muna natin to. Select ko to. Okay. Edit feature. Distance at uh, two sides. Extend is to object. So from here, fifteen. Hindi natin siya na yan. So, itong kabila is a 5 ba ito? 3, 2.5. Ayan. So, yung isang distance is 2.5. Okay? So, yung 
uh, side 1 is 15, then 2.5 yung side 2. Okay, then click uh, OK. Ayan, so pansin nyo na wala na yung butas. So, same operation lang din dito. So, hanapin nyo lang to. Right click, edit, edit feature, a direction, two sides. Extent 1 is negative 15. Yung distance uh, 2 is 2.5. Or negative. Yeah, negative 2.5 and then click OK. Ayan. So, pansin nyo, wala na siyang uh, siwang. Okay. So, i-turn on ko ulit yung I. Ayan. Okay, so ngayon ay uh, magjo-join na tayo. Already opened the link. What to do next, ma'am? Ano pong ano? Anong link yan, Miss Michelle? At ba yun nasa YouTube? So, dadalhin kanya sa ating YouTube uh, channel kung saan tayo nagla-live stream. Okay? Nay na. Si Rashmi. Patapos na ako. Okay, so uh, always make sure na kung ano yung yung base nyo, yun yung naka-ground. So, iga-ground natin siya para hindi siya gumalaw. So, para mag-ground, ayan o, no, double click, right click, click nyo yung ground. So, some components have been move, click continue. Ayan. So, magdidikit siya, ihiwalay nyo lang po. Ayan. And then, mapapansin nyo, dahil ginround natin si plate, hindi na siya gumagalaw. Okay? Hindi na siya gumagalaw. So, sige po, pakiground ang inyong, um, tawag Ang inyong base plate. Sinan ko sa'yo. Okay. Ayan, watch na lang po ako ulit na left behind po. Internet po kasi. Ayan. Pwede, pwede nyo pong balikan kung may hindi kayo na nakuha or nasundan nasa YouTube channel natin siya. Okay. So, ngayon, i-join na natin siya. Uh, ipapasok na natin siya. Yan, dito. Okay. So, para magawa natin yon. Press J. Shortcut ko yun for joint. Yan, medyo na paaga po ang ating session, no? Akala ko na yung P. Uh, J. Uh, some components have move capture position po. Okay? So, lalabas tong uh, window natin for joint. Okay, shift, middle mouse. Isa select ko po ito. Ayan. Okay? And then, balik ako kay base plate or kung saan nyo siya ip ipapasok or i-join. Okay? So, uh, pansinin nyo po, no? Kung, ayan. So, minsan ganyan. So, pipiliin nyo po yung ganto para pumasok siya sa loob. So, click nyo lang yun. Mag magpapasok na siya doon. Okay? So, meron tayong iba't ibang May iba't iba tayong adjoint component. So, makikita nyo yan dito. Ayan, no? So, rigid uh, solid lang yan, revolute, slider, cylindrical, pin slot, planar, chabol. So, along this series, magagamit po natin yung, yung mga um, uh, joint 
na yan. So, ngayon, uh, ang gagamitin natin is Revolute. Okay? Click Revolute. Yan, gagalaw siya. So, if ever na guman yan yung inyong uh, project, i-move nyo lang siya papasok. Okay? So, dapat walang siwang. Dapat uh, hindi rin siya naka-overlap. So, parang yung sa akin naka-overlap. So, 12. So, dapat hindi siya naka hindi siya nakapasok. I mean, hindi siya nakapasok dito, no? Or hindi siya tumatago sa, sa kabilang component nyo. So, okay. Home view. Punta kayo kay home view. And then, so, supposed to be magaganito nyo yung inyong uh, cross link or yung link ano yun? Linked L. Okay? Link, ah, link for download daw ng Fusion. Puntahan nyo po itong ano, yung ating event page tonight. Nandun po yun sa description. Aba! Okay, so J lang ng J until mabuo nyo yung component. Okay, so J ulit. A capture position. Seselect ko to. So, ilalagay ko siya doon. Ayan. So, ipapasok natin siya. Okay. Home view. So, ayan na siya. And then, eto na lang, no? So, letter J ulit. Hindi ako makapag-extrude pa din hanggang ngayon. Letter E lang po. Letter E, shortcut key for extrude. So, capture position. Sa select ko naman tong cross link para pumunta siya dito. Ayan. So, i-move natin siya ng kaunti. Okay. So, eto, extrude natin. Papasok. Pasok na lang natin. So, letter J lang po hanggang mabuo nyo siya. Ayan. So, J ulit. Join, capture position, select nyo to, tsaka ito. Okay. Okay, so nag problem siya. So pag nag red flag, may, may problem yun ha. Okay, check natin kung ano yung a uh, conflict.
Okay, so ngayon, nabaliktad natin to, no? So, dapat to siya. So, tatanggalin ko lang to, ipapalit. Palit lang natin. So, delete natin yan. Ang pumunta siya doon, i-rotate na lang natin. naman ito. Kita naman siya. Tsaka bakit sobra yun? Yung saglit lang. Di ba dapat pantay yan? Eh, hindi ka nasunod sa dimension. So, meron tayong hindi nasunod. Okay, check natin yung dimension natin. Di tama naman to. So, can you uh, please comment kung anong status nung sa inyo? Nawala daw yung sound. Twenty. So, dapat twenty naman siya. So, kung nag-error, so, uh, my, my dimension doon na medyo hindi nagtugma. So, uh, finish natin to. Next. Ito. Edit, then, then, 20. Tama naman siya. Yung course code po nito is uh, after pa ng series, okay? So, if forward naman siya once natapos na tong uh, session na to. Okay? So, hindi po siya uh, tonight. Padikit ba ito? Try natin i-add yet. So, try ulit natin. Okay.
So, I'll try to do it again na lang ng mabilisan. Hindi ko siya maayos. Forty by one twenty. Okay, no, sa mga ano, keep, ano lang po, uh, join. Uh, join nyo lang yan, ang inyong, um, Tama ba? 15 divide 2. Sorry, symmetry. 15 divide 2. Okay. Right click new component. So, gagawin ko ulit siya. So, 2 circle is 10. Distance is 80. Distance is, uh, radius is 10 ulit. So, finish. E symmetric 15 10 so 10 siya. 10 divide 2 okay at low new component right click new component turn off yung i Thirty ten equal natin siya ng ten dimension is ten ulit. Okay, double check. Then, siya. Finish sketch. E. Home view. Select ko to. Symmetric. 5 divide 2. Baba kayo dito. Sketch. Select. E. 4. 15. E. 4. 10. Negative. Okay. Turn off. Turn off natin. Right click. A new component. Slot. So, dapat hindi slot. Punta ko sa front. Hmm. 
nagpo-projection. Paano yun? Kung nagpo-project siya? Uh, hindi maganda yung ginawa mo kayo, Rush. Pag... So, nag, uh, ano siya, nagpo-project siya sa akin. So, tatanggalin ko to. Create ako ng slot na lang. Nagpo-project siya eh. Copy, paste. So, always naka-ground ang ating uh, plane. J lagi ah pag nag-rejoin. point five G capture position twelve point five dapat sa loob siya. So, cancel. J natin. Okay. Capture position. Point six. So, hindi siya pumapasok. Okay. So, it's a check ko na lang ulit to later kung bakit ah, hindi siya pumapasok. Late na ako para mag... Yes po, maga nag-start kasi um, we have a meeting pa at, at 9.30, no? Mahalaga yung new, wala daw sounds. Mahalaga po yung, mahalaga po yung new component, uh, every object, kung nag, uh, kung ganto 
kung nagmo-moving parts na kayo, no? So mahalagang mahalaga yung yung component. Okay? So i-join nyo. Tapos paki-post na lang ang inyong gawa sa ating uh, sa ating uh, Autodesk Community Philippines a uh, Facebook page yung course ID is send namin after the webinar series and then um hanapin ko yung ay hindi kasi to account ko mukhang wala dito so yung mga nag-enroll kanina is i-approve natin i-approve na natin ito so so far wala pa naman so uh, refer kayo sa ating live kanina nandoon yung yung course ID no so nandoon yung course ID so i-approve na natin to lahat so yung session natin tonight is wala pa siyang course ID no dahil hindi pa tayo tapos so uh, dapat maka uh, at least a uh, four four hours tayo na nag na nag session ito no para ganon okay so I'll check kung ano yung problem naging problem ko dito so kung naging smooth naman yung yung paggawa nyo please post it in our ACP group or the community of Philippines no and then um kailan ba yung next live natin I'll update you tomorrow uh, kung paano ko to naayos. And then kung naging smooth naman yung sa inyo, that's great. Okay, and then uh, yung mga nag-enroll is i-approve ko na after the live. And then bukas, June 5, may... may uh, Webinar tayo ng, ng June 5, no? So, uh, see you sa tomorrow, no? Sa ating webinar series. May pre-reg po ba itong... Wala po tayong uh, free... Uh, pre. Wala tayong uh, pre-reg sa, sa Fusion, no? So, registered kayo, makapagpasa kayo ng output, makakareceive kayo ng... Certificate of uh, Course Completion. Okay, so, yun lang. So, uh, if kaya natin mag-live uh, ulit mamaya for sa mga nagtatanong about ano, uh, Autodesk Certificates, no, pa paantay na lang, and then babalikan ko kayo. Okay, so, uh, see you. See you again sa ating uh, next series ng uh, Assembly from Scratch, no? Ayan, so nasa group pala, posted yung ating new course ID. So, enroll na lang po ulit kayo. Okay? And then, ayan, supposed to be dapat ganito. Okay, and now, uh, thank you sa sumama sa akin ngayong gabi sa webinar. Uh, assembly from scratch. So, see you again tomorrow. Again, uh, we are Ordas Community of Philippines. Bye-bye.